Hey, what up Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Mike. And this high school water polo video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. We're on the west side of Cabrillo where Long Beach Poly is hosting Ayala in the first round of the Southern Section Division 4 playoffs. Jack Rabbits and coach Ish Pluton are hoping to start a historic couple of weeks as they kick off this playoff run. They're seeded number one in Division 4. Polly has not won a CIF Boys Water Polo Championship in 92 years. They're going to start it off right here as Reese Hammond dumps it into Marcus Cruz and he puts it in cruise control nice and easy for the opening score. You can see the teammates pretty fired up. Then the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Hammond with the banger after a penalty. And then on a man up opportunity, great ball movement to get it to Bo Wade. And Polly's up 3 0 just two minutes into this game. This is how you want to start a game if you're the number one seed in a bracket. You want to make it decisive, you want to have some fun. They would need more than scoring, though. They do need goalie Charlie Lemis to step up this postseason. And if the first round was any indication, he's going to do it. Reese's fast break bar here with the nougat. Whistled for <laughs> the foul. They tried to take him down, headed to the net. And it's Cruz who just tucks it in there to put Polly up 4-0. Hammond, a beautiful drop off to Tyler Odie. That's going to make it 5-0, Polly. You can see some frustration from the Bulldogs, especially when Hammond breaks it up. They're Reese's Pieces now. A gorgeous lob off the steal, and that's going to make it 6-0, Polly. That is a way to start a game when you're seated highly in the playoffs. Luke Fulkerson would get a pair of scores late in the first for Ayala to make it 7-2 Jackrabbits after the first quarter. But again, I think Polly saw everything that they wanted to see in that first quarter the exception of the two scores from Fulkerson. Terrific way to start this playoff run. Charlie Pruitt, Chazel Pruitt to you. Skip shot and a beauty. Jackrabbit's really humming on offense and defense. Defense really dialed in in this second quarter. Charlie bit me. Watch the Jackrabbit defense lock in. Polly Goley with one of his five steals right there. They had 17 steals as a team in this game. And they did not allow a goal in the second quarter. Only two shots, only one of them on goal. Really terrific team defense from Polly throughout this game. Back on offense, Odie, a little spin. He's going to put that one in easily. And then domination from Hammond. In basketball, we'd say he's padding his rebounding stats. As <laughs> he pinks it off the cage, gets his own rebound, and then slams it home past the goalie. Pruitt is going to smash one in. Jackrabbits had plenty of touch shots too, but they definitely were not tentative. They were showing the what you want to see in the playoffs, which was being willing to just go right at the goal. Flip from Wade to Colin Suhu. He will draw the penalty. And it's Odie who's going to put it home here. And then look at this absolute ski ball shot from Odie. Ricochets up and rolls around and in. Odie likes it. And the bench absolutely loves it. <laughs> this team is having a lot of fun right now. A lot of fun to cover them this game. They did keep the foot on the gas pedal. Odie is going to get the steal here. He's going out wide to Wade. And he's just going to wade right in. No need for the pass. Lobs it right over himself for an easy score. Jackrabbit's looking good on offense. Looking good on defense. Wade is going to finish with the hat trick, as did four Jackrabbits in this game. And then this is what they want to do. This is Polly Water Polo in these playoffs. A block by Suhu. Pruitt's going to pick it up. He's looking to Suhu the whole time as the defense is collapsing on him towards the middle. Flips it over. Suhu pulls left. Easy goal to the right. Beautiful textbook counterattack Water Polo. The Jackrabbits doing everything they wanted to do in this one. This time it's going to be Suhu with another block. He's going to feed it ahead to Nico Song. And Song is looking for Hammond, the Jackrabbit leader the whole way. Hammond finishes with four goals, two assists, two steals. Spared no expense, really. And when life gives you Lemus, yeah, that's rad actually. Ten saves and five steals for the goalie. Polly goes on to win it easily 18-5. They will travel to Don Lugo on Thursday. 
for round two as they're hoping they're just getting started in these playoffs. If you're wondering whether or not we'll be there on Thursday, I'm a little offended at the question. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, Jack Rabbits. Moving on to round two, the 562 will be there every step of the way. Can't wait to see what else is in store for these Long Beach water polo teams in the CIF playoffs.